Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a cannoli cake and a gingerbread eggnog cake. These are four inch cakes. They were $14.99 each at the Fresh Market. The cannoli cake is 11 ounces or 312 grams and the gingerbread eggnog cake is 13 ounces or 369 grams. And I figured we would start over here because I could cut into it and show you up close what it looks like. Uh, they uh, took this at, at uh, the Fresh Market. They have a case, a bakery case. They took these directly out of the bakery case. Um, they put a dome over it, and then they put a sticker on it. So that's, that's how they give it to you. So I'm going to cut it right in the middle. Uh, the cannoli cake, they asked me um, if I would like a fresh cannoli on top. I said, yes, please. And then they said they didn't have any. So, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did not have any fresh cannolis. So, uh, maybe when you get yours, you will get a fresh cannoli. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside of the cannoli. It looks like you just get two layers with frosting in the center. And so, the gingerbread eggnog. I asked the guy, He said, I said, are these um, fresh? And he said, oh yes, they come in fresh. We put them directly in the case. Uh, well, they, well they were in the freezer. You said uh, you worried about being leftovers from the holidays. Yeah, because it's gingerbread and eggnog. And I said, how long has that been in there? Is that fresh? And he said, yes. And I said, okay, I wanted to make sure it wasn't left over from Christmas, you know. So that's how that looks. It looks kind of like a carrot cake. We have tried cakes from the Fresh Market before, and I was really pleased with those. And so that's why I was willing to buy these. I do think... $15, $14.99 each is a lot of money for this size. Yeah, it's though. very small, but it might have the flavor. So, this is the cannoli. This is an individual cake. <laughs> I do get cinnamon, which I don't think... Um, Traditionally, uh, cannolis um, have cinnamon. They might have some cinnamon in the mix or something. You know, if this, they do, you usually can't taste it. This is gonna sound weird to you. That bottom of that, you know what that tastes like? What? You know those little crumb donuts, donuts, little round ones mm -hmm. that have like it's it's. I think they have coconut on them. That's what that tastes like. I like it. Mm -hmm. It, um, I understand why they call it cannoli. Uh, the cake itself, I think, is very fresh. It is kind of dense, and maybe that's kind of to cake. hold the, the frosting. Um, but it is kind of a dense cake, but it's, it's, there's a lot of moisture to it, too. It's not dry. Mm. Um, and I do like the frosting. I do get a, um, a cinnamon flavor, though. It's not a strong cinnamon, but it's there. I ate a little piece, I ate that little dollop on top. Mm -hmm. It is not frosting. It was like a really thick, dent, but there's no piece left. No, but you've got this. Um, yeah, that little dollop on top is not the same thing as the frosting on the cake. It's uh -huh. very, it's almost papery. It's like a, a fondant or something. It's very mm -hmm. thick, it's weird. Frosting by itself is okay. It's not buttercream. No. It doesn't, no. It, it, it's not as rich, and mm -hmm. it's not uh, It's not very sweet. No, but you know what cannolis, every cannoli we've ever had is kind of yes. not sweet. It's, it's they're plain. They're not for us. It, to me, a cannoli is absolutely not a dessert. Mm -hmm. it's because it's not sweet enough for me. If, if I'm going to have a dessert, I want something incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're just very, very plain. Yeah. And we've got cannolis from like a... Italian real company. yes, yeah. we've had real cannolis, and they're and we're not the only ones. I've yeah. had many, many comments that said I feel the same way. Yeah. Don't know why people eat them because they're just plain. Yeah. Um, I think people, it's the tradition of it, you know. But but they are plainer. If you like something incredibly sweet, then it's not going to be enough for you. That. You really need to eat it all together, yeah. the frosting and the cake. That's the only way you can eat it. Because once you start dissecting it, then you realize, oh, that frosting's not very sweet. Yeah. And the cake isn't that sweet. But now together, kind of like an Oreo. Together, it's a good marriage. Yeah. 
Not for $15, though. But not $15. I do not think <laughs> it's worth it. No. no. I would not pay $15 again. No. So that's why we're trying these is to, because if you see them, we would want to let you know. Just the fact that when I, my first bite, it tasted like one of those little crumble donuts, the donuts. Yes. Um, A cheap I mean, donut. Yes. Dead on. That donut flavor, just go buy a bag of donuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the gingerbread eggnog cake. Go ahead. And... Traditionally, I see nothing wrong with having gingerbread all year long or eggnog all year long. Of course, that you don't see eggnog all year long around here, but I don't see anything wrong with it. But you can understand why I would say, no. how long has this been sitting there? Because we've never, I couldn't tell you another store in our area right now that has a gingerbread or anything, eggnog, no. anything. That frosting on top is frosting. So you can safely eat it. I'll, I'll eat anything. I'll, I'll try. Well, that, that you wouldn't have wanted that cannoli one. It was like almost hard. Like one of those pre-made things they stick on the top of something. This one's not bad. It, it, you, it's very much gingerbread, not... Um, I don't get any eggnog. I don't get eggnog at all. It's all ginger. The bite that I got is, is very ginger forward. Also, it reminds you of a, um, Tammy said when she took it out, she said it reminded her of a carrot cake a little bit. The color. Yeah, but you take the carrot out, it kind of reminds me of the flavor of a carrot cake. It's got that seasoning in it, that spice. To um, me, it's, it's, it's all ginger. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. But there's no eggnog, and I don't even know why they called it eggnog. They may have used eggnog in a frosting or something. They may have, but you do not taste it at all. Uh, cinnamon, I believe that. Um, there's just too much in here. Mm -hmm. uh, I will have at the end of the video, I won't have calories, but I will have a list of the ingredients because they do have the ingredients on here, which is nice. But for me, um, no eggnog, just ginger. Yeah. And I Very wouldn't even say ginger. ginger bread. I would say ginger. Yeah. It, it, it reminds me a lot of a carrot cake. Yeah, I can see that because the it's spices. missing some of the few of the other spices in it, but it's it still reminds me of a carrot cake. And you it, don't have carrot. You don't have the carrot yeah. shreds. But if you were to hand that to me and say, "What do you think that is?" I would say carrot cake right. without the carrot. Yeah. So I I think you could skip both. Of these. I personally, <laughs> I hate to say it, because like I said, if you do if you do a search on YouTube, Tammy Dunn, the Fresh Market Cake. It's going to come up with other cakes we bought from their bakery. I would go with those. Mm -hmm. um, and those were much more flavorful. They all come from either New York or New Jersey. They told me that. All of them. And in one of those videos, I actually gave the name. Because mm -hmm. um, she went and looked it up on the she box. She went and looked it up on the box. The lady did. And I was grateful that she did that. I, I, I know, all I know is they come from New York or New Jersey. But I would just skip both of these because their other cakes are more exciting. Yeah. And I, the carrot, sorry. The eggnog, the gingerbread eggnog is good. It's, it has a really nice flavor. I do like the flavor. The cannoli one, I didn't even enjoy the flavor of that much. Oh, I didn't mind it. It's just a... It's just too... Plus, that's what I'm saying. I didn't, even, I didn't enjoy it. It was like, it was okay, but I didn't enjoy it. This one, I enjoy the flavor of it. I really do like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. But $15 is way too much. I just think... Beanie, beanie, can you? Yeah, there's nothing bad about either one of them, honestly. They're just... Uh, it's just not worth the, the price. Yeah, for what you're getting, it's just not worth the price. They're pretty. They're they're very pretty, and if you were going to have company or something like that, that would be nice. But yeah, I just a fifteen dollars for this size is just too much to pay. It could be a breakup cake. You a broke breakup. up with your you broke up with somebody, and you instead of eating a tub of ice cream, you eat a whole cake. Oh, okay. I can <laughs> I can see that. Okay, yeah. Instead of buying Ben and Jerry, Ben and Jerry's just cheaper, people. Just buy the Ben and Jerry's and just eat the Ben and Jerry's. It's probably less uh, calories. Yeah, or just make the the brownie batter and just eat the brownie batter out of the bowl. You don't bake them. You just eat it out of the bowl. Uh, yeah, that's much cheaper. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.